I think the most critical moment was recognizing that I was not happy with what I was doing. And I'd probably been lying to myself for a decent amount of time. And I thought to myself, like, I've either not worked hard enough or I've just done it completely wrong. I've lost the plot. And now I'm in this position where I've been doing art in a certain way and I don't know how to do anything else. I don't have any other inspirations. This inspiration is not really here anymore. So all this heavy stuff came down. This one night I had a terrible anxious night of sleep and I guess middle of the night, March 21st, 2011. I wrote it down at 3.59 in the morning. I identified that simple things like I love illustration. You know, I like to paint. I also like to draw. I like line work. I like all these things. I'm like, well, they're gonna they're gonna coexist. That was the kind of big seismic activity that ended up um, affecting, you know, my whole life. That was kind of a, a plan to do something that I felt was honest. When I explain my work process, a lot of times I joke, I'm like, there's two steps, like black and white, and then the other stuff, the color, the animal, all this. The black and white is, is pretty critical because here's this environment that that um, speaks to the unknown or the um, uncomprehendable. It's almost like an ink blot test. And I kind of hate to call it that, but in, in a lot of ways it is. I may find like the pattern in a feather, either on the coloration or the texture may influence the composition by just simply using that totally out of context with the animal. But in essence, I, I go throughout the whole painting thinking about the animal whatever degree seems appropriate. Prior to this work, I, I felt like this pressure to have my art say something very specific. There was this goal, this specific um, reaction and takeaway from, my, from my, my old work. Whereas this work, these things that I create, these objects ultimately, um, that are the byproduct of my creative experience can and will function differently for everybody. So if it inspires anybody in any way, it's pretty amazing. I hope my art definitely evokes some sense of willingness to be vulnerable or the sense that say my name is lost, my, my identity is lost and this, and this work exists by itself. I would, I guess, hope that people would assume that whoever created it was willing to take a risk and or was curious enough to explore something that they didn't fully understand.